In this video, we'll be determining the minimum sample size needed to estimate mu, the population mean. Given a C confidence level and a margin of error E, the minimum sample size N needed to estimate the population mean mu is given by the formula N equals Z sub C times sigma divided by E and the quantity is squared. If sigma is unknown, you can estimate it using S, provided you have a preliminary sample with at least 30 members. You want to estimate in this problem the mean weight of peppermint candies. An earlier sample of 200 peppermints had a sample standard deviation of 0.4 grams. How many peppermints must be included in the sample if you want to be 90% confident that the sample mean is within 0.1 grams of the population mean? So the solution, we know that S is 0.4 grams and we can use S for sigma since we had a preliminary sample of 200. We want our margin of error to be 0.1 grams but we need a z sub c to substitute into our formula. So we need a little background and the background is a level of, for a level of confidence c we're talking about the probability that the interval estimate contains the population parameter. c is the area under the standard normal curve between the critical values. So in our problem we have 90% of our area shaded in blue and we have two tails. So we want one half of the difference between 100 percent and 90 percent and of course we're going to convert to decimals. So if the level of confidence is 90 percent this means that we're 90 percent confident that the interval contains the population mean mu and we want to find z sub c, the critical value. So we have that c is the area under the standard normal curve between the critical values and we have that area in each tail is 0 0.05. So we need to find the z value that corresponds with an area to its left of 0 0.05 and the command on the TI-84 that allows us to calculate that would be found under second vars inverse norm and the commands are again the area to the left so 0 0.05 a comma the mean and the mean of the z nor standard normal curve or the z curve is zero, comma, and the standard deviation of the standard normal curve which is one. For the standard normal curve both the zero and the one can be omitted. And we find that the z sub c, the critical value that's on the left side of the mean zero would be negative 1.645 rounded to three decimal places. And that would mean then because of the symmetry that the value, the, the critical value on the right hand side would also be 1.645. Most of the time you'll be dealing with level of confidence of 90 percent or 95 percent or even 99 percent and so you will get used to these values and so you won't have to go through that process every time but it is helpful to remember how to do that and so now we can continue with our problem and we now know that z sub c is equal to 1.645 so we will substitute into our formula and we get that n equals the quantity 1.645 times 
0 0.4 divided by 0 0.1, all of it squared, which results in 43.30 equals n. Now, we can't really, we don't really want to sample 0.3 of a peppermint, so what do we do? Well, we always round our results up. Even though it's less than half, we're still going to round it up. And so the solution is that we need 44 peppermints to be included in the sample if we want to be 90% confident that the sample mean is within 0.1 grams of the population mean.